and welcome to this online demonstration of how to install James Hardy Axon cladding. Designing and building a sleek looking home that can handle any type of weather is all about the details. So let's see how it's done. To start off, you'll need Axon cladding sheets in the preferred profile to the correct quantity, 2.8 by 40 millimeter fiber cement nails, or ND 50 millimeter stainless steel brad nails. Brad nails can only be used up to N3 and C1 wind classification. 50 millimeter wide foam back sealing tape. James Hardy joint sealant. Preferred corner accessories. Refer to the Axon installation manual for all options. 75 by 75 color bond corner flashing. 9 millimeter aluminium horizontal H joiner for joining two horizontal H flashings. And the Hardy wrap weather barrier. Tools you'll need will be spirit level, drill, hardy blade saw blade or comparable fiber cement blade, dust reducing saw, vacuum extraction with filter appropriate for capturing fine respirable dust, story rod, and your PPE. Okay guys, it's now time to prep. So you can use timber or steel frame, doesn't matter. Just make sure everything is straight, plumb and level before you put your cladding boards on. Okay guys, so generally internal and external corners have additional framing requirements. It's very important to get these flashings on prior to the cladding. In this instance, we're using the aluminium box corner accessory. Okay, when doing the set out for the boards, make sure the shiplap joint lands on a 45 mil stud. If it's a 35 mil stud, you just have to add another one. The Axon sheets will be fixed vertically and just make sure you've got fixings around all four edges of the sheet. Install the hardy edge trim underneath the sarking and it needs to be 20 to 50 millimeters past the slab. Okay, next we've installed our hardy wrap over our flashing or your hardy edge trim. Make sure you have the right fasteners. For steel frames, fasteners may be overdriven by two to three mil and filled with mega epoxy P1. Then covered with James Hardy base coat and sanded smooth. Axon uses a double ship lap joint. Ensure that you install the underside lap first. You'll find by installing the sheets in this sequence, a flush outside surface is maintained. The boards have consistent groove intervals on the face. So when joining one sheet on top of the other, they will align. Now I'm gonna break down the installation process into five easy steps. Okay, so step one, set up your datum line to get the underside of your boards nice and straight and level. And always ensure that if you've got soil or a non-sealed surface, you need at least 150 cover from the base of your board. If it's a sealed surface, like decking or pavers, you can just have a 50 mil cover from the base of the board. So step number two, plan where each board's gonna land and then install the foam backing strip at that joint. Just remember to do it over the hardy wrap and it's not required on a steel frame. Okay, when doing your prep, it's really important to get your window flashings right. Make sure you've got your head flashing in and sarking tape the sarking to the window so it's all prepped and sealed properly. Okay, step number three, installing the board. So measure your opening, cut your board to suit. Make sure you install the underlap sheet first. Step number four, apply the James Hardy joint sealant with a three millimeter diameter bead down the underlap of the shiplap joint. Okay, now you can install your next sheet and just wipe any excess sealant before it dries. Okay, so step five, just repeat that process and make sure you wipe off any excess sealant as you're going. Okay, and we're done. So as you can see, the Axon cladding looks great. You just have to choose your paint color and remember, it's already pre-primed, so it's ready to accept any acrylic paint. Thanks for watching this online demonstration of how to install James Hardy Axon cladding. For more information, check out the Axon installation manual.